What's up everyone? Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel Benjica and Jordan Vlogs. So in today's video we're gonna be answering you guys' questions. We made a post about a week ago. So about a week ago we made a post on our YouTube community um, and we asked you guys to ask us questions. So here we are answering them for you guys. I know some of them are ones we've already answered but they'll be really quick. We're gonna go one by one. Yeah, one by one. They'll be quick. Mm -hmm. But she's gonna read the Spanish questions. Yeah. And then I'll read. Okay. Hola, Belgica. ¿Qué, te, ¿Qué fue lo que te dijo el médico sobre tu preocupación que tenías? Saludos, Belgica. Que Dios te cuide siempre. Saludos, amiga. Así que saludos, amiga. Y también bendiciones para ti. Estoy bien. No tengo nada. Bien. Me dijo que no tengo tiroides y estoy saludable. Así que gracias a Dios todo está bien. So this next one comes from Jennifer Bustamante. I know that eventually incomes will be combined when you guys get married, but how do you guys deal with your finances now? Is it like shared type of thing or more like he pays for his stuff and you pay for your stuff? When do you think it's okay for your partner to start giving you financial assistance, for example? Okay, um, question. It's all good, Jennifer. I didn't read your example, but I did. I've, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, for that sort of thing. So, I mean, just like you said, the gentleman thing to do. I was raised to, you know, you, I pay for a lot of, uh, like we go eat and uh, the trip that we took, I paid for that. You always pay for everything. I pay for a lot of things, mm -hmm. but it's never been like, I never want to pay for it. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we, she pays for stuff sometimes also, like, if we get some food and she'll order something and then she also cooks dinners here so she pays for that food that's here yeah. so it's kind of i don't think there's like no. it's one-sided i don't we don't I mean, worry about the financials we're not yeah we're not mixing finances like we're not living together i guess yeah. and even if like we would live together we wouldn't like kind of because i mean i have my own income and he has his own there's like yeah. it's not like i need his income or he needs mine yeah yeah, it would be more like maybe like I'll get all the, I know for sure I'll pay for all the bills I use because I am a big, I, look, I use a lot of like, <laughs> I'm not an energy saver <laughs> and I like cable and I like certain stuff so obviously I'm gonna get them so because yeah. there's no issue for me but yeah like when I cook I obviously buy all the groceries but like that's, that's kind of like the same thing I'm already buying groceries I'm just giving it him food that's it yeah yeah it's Overall, it's... He's just a gentleman, though. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's... We don't worry about financials. Okay, Belgica, uh, así que Bibi pregunta que si Jordan ha visto tus videos de cuando trabajabas en el campo, piscando, y qué piensa de eso. Sé que tu trabajo, tú trabajas duro, pero quiero saber qué siente en el corazón cuando te ve trabajando así y madrugando con un bebé cargando, llevándolo a, a cuidar. Bendiciones a los tres. Uh, I've answered this before, but um, I, 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 the question confuses me because I don't understand how am I supposed to feel. <laughs> I guess it's a job. It, I guess because a lot of people get very emotional when they see me like that. Oh, for some um, reason, because they don't think I deserve that. I mean, my mom would be gone for ten to twelve hours a day when I was growing up. Yeah, that was just normal to me. Someone working. And not being around their kids often is it's normal yeah she was providing for us what about like me having that type of job i guess maybe because you're a white guy they think maybe oh, like, girl, what's in i don't care what right. anyone does for a job <laughs> as long as you're working as long as it's a decent <laughs> job too of course some people have yeah. kind of weird as long as you're doing something and not collecting off of the government i don't care yeah <laughs> don't don't be a freeloader yeah. Okay, so this question is for me. Stephanie Reese uh, pregunta, ¿Cómo es que te mantienes ahora que estudias? How do I like sustain myself now that I just go to school and don't work? Uh, sí trabajo. Este, parece que no trabajo, pero sí trabajo. De hecho, tengo un ingreso estable, así que sí trabajo. Y puedo ir a la escuela, puedo quedarme en la casa si yo quisiera. Estoy bien, no necesito ir a agarrar un trabajo normal. So, yeah. This one comes from Flory MTZ. Mm -hmm. He, uh, this person asked, when is he going to marry you? Um, personal question. And even if I 
was going to do something, like why if, would I say it on YouTube? Yeah, like if you knew, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna marry her this day, you would yeah. tell me. Because she watches <laughs> my videos, I can never get away with trying to surprise her if I upload Exactly, yeah, so you should. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this one comes from Seven Natalie Ant Antonio. Mm -hmm. How often do you talk and text in a day? What was your first disagreement? Didn't say fight, but an occasion where you disagreed, and how did you resolve it as a couple? So, me and Bellica talk all all throughout the day. All day, every day. Yeah, <laughs> even when I'm at work, I try to text her like at least every hour. Yeah, and then um, if you have to like disappear for an hour or so, you tell me. Yeah, I, I'm about to. Yeah, even if I go take a shower, I'll be like, hey, you're back, taking a shower. Like I'm just, uh, I like to, you know, keep her updated yeah he's very he's very updated that's yeah. what i like about him <laughs> i always know what he's doing <laughs> yeah when i drive like obviously i can't text mm -hmm. and drive first disagreement i don't we think don't we've think. never had a disagreement yet nope we haven't had a disagreement. we on it like we you think people <laughs> probably think we're making this up but <laughs> like we don't disagree we agree on everything mostly food we agree on i can't even say we disagree on food no because it's the only thing food is that she literally doesn't care where we go. Yeah, I don't and, care. Well, and if like, I say a food place, she's like, okay. Yeah. She says a food place, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I don't care. We do not disagree. We're yeah. like, if he says Taco Bell, oh yeah, yeah. We just go. We just go. That is such a <laughs> ridiculous thing to fight over. I don't, I I don't have time for it. Yeah. But yeah, we haven't had disagreement. No. Te piensas casar con él y tener más hijos con él y que tengas hermanos bombón. Um, she asked, do I want to marry him and have more kids? And so Ariel can have, Bonbon can have siblings. Um, I mean, si me gustaría tener hijos. Like, obviously, I do want to have children. Like, even before I met him, I wanted kids. Like, at least one more child. So, obviously, I would love to have a kid with him. About marriage, I don't know. I, I would never answer that one because uh, I would only marry him if he wants me to. If not, I don't know. <laughs> yes. And I would love for Ariel to have a sibling just because it's good, you know. I don't want a sibling. Raquel Morauto pregunta, ¿ya no estás trabajando? Sí, estoy trabajando. Simplemente trabajo independientemente. Soy mi propia jefa. Abby XOXO. Thanks for commenting, Abby. Uh, are you planning to do a bucket list together? Um, to do a bucket list together? I guess I never thought about it. I thought bucket lists were people that were terminally Nine. ill. <laughs> no, um, I mean, we obviously have places that we want to go to yeah. together. Uh, I guess that's kind a bucket of. list. I, I, guess, I guess I don't. I never thought about doing one. A bucket list, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, um, we do have like. We have sort together. of bucket list things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we talked about those sorts of things. We both planning to move together anytime soon. Uh, yeah. Just not soon, soon. Cause not. Technically soon. Because I have a another year lease and so does he. Yeah, so we're <laughs> waiting on that. Uh, oh, that's not a question. ¿Cuándo vas a maquillar a Jordan por Sandra Aguilar? When am I going to do Jordan's makeup? As soon as he lets me. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll try it. ¿Cuándo vienen a Nueva York? When do we go to New York? Sometime in the future. Algún día en el futuro iremos a Nueva York. Is Jordan active or reserved? I am active duty. Lola MMP pregunta cuánto tiempo llevan saliendo oficialmente. Llevamos ya tres meses. Ya vamos para tres meses. Okay. Cooking with Lulu Ramos. Okay, I have a question. Why are you guys so freaking adorable? Well, it goes back 23 years ago. <laughs> and when I was born. <laughs> and her is 24 years ago. Yeah. Oh, this one's for me. La Guerra Vlogs, she asks, pregunta, ¿es difícil para ti cuando él se tiene que ir por varios meses? Yo ya he estado con él, bueno, lo conozco ya casi por un poco más de cinco meses. Ya voy para casi medio año conociéndolo. Y de todo este tiempo solamente hemos estado juntos dos meses. Así que um, pronto se tendrá que ir mucho, mucho tiempo. Y... Yo sé que va a ser difícil, pero va. Yo lo quiero a él, lo amo y yo sé que todo va a estar bien. A Tania Juliet pregunta: ¿Cómo pagos, pagas todo sin trabajar? How do I pay for everything when I don't work? 
I do work. She does work. <laughs> Trabajo, I'm self-employed, soy este, uh, mi propia jefa, soy independiente. A los cuantos meses o años piensas tener un baby? Te pregunta Ana Peña. Um, lo quiero antes de los 27 años, así que es muy, muy pronto. Becky Macias asked, what's the biggest thing you've learned from being with each other? Love you guys. Thank you so much. The biggest thing I've learned from Jordan is to not be so self-conscious and so self-aware of what other people's intentions are for me because I used to like have my guard up so, so high and I would not make eye contact with any person of the opposite gender and by opposite gender, I mean really him. I wouldn't make eye contact with him at all and I would not want to be close to him even though I really liked him. So he kind of made me feel Finally, he taught me how to be, you know, like secure again because I just, I was just like, every guy's out there to get me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he's taught me how to, you know, be relaxed. My dad. Yeah, my name is my thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say <clears throat> definitely, I want to say patience. Oh, really? Asian? More like, um, because <laughs> like I can't, like a lot of people are able to be with their girlfriend or boyfriend like every single day mm -hmm. and Have like spend time with each other. Have a little cutie. It's a cutie pie. And then like, because she is like, you know, with her life, we're not able to do that. So. It's not really my life. It's because he has never dated a person that has kids, so he, I'm pretty sure he would spend more time with exes before, you know, when he was in other relationships. So, on the other hand, I have a child, so obviously, you know, there's a big difference. Because if I didn't have a kid, he could sleep here every day, or I could go sleep at his house every day. It wouldn't matter, you know. Because I have a car. He has a car. Like, there's no issues there. Yeah. It's just that I have a child, and I can't be with him every single day. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, Dina Mono Vlog, she asked us, how long have you both known each other for? We've known each other for five? Five months around there. It's well, been five it's months? It's been five months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, esta Sally pregunta, ¿Sientes que tu vida cambió definitivamente desde que llegó Jordan a tu vida? So she's asking, Do, has my life changed since Jordan has came into, like, my life? Uh, si ha cambiado mi vida, yes, my life has changed because before I wouldn't have like conversations with adults for maybe like four to five business days. <laughs> Antes no hablaba con adultos por unos cuatro o cinco días. And a thing that's really helped me is because before, antes no podía contarle a nadie como lo que estaba sucediendo o por ejemplo si recibía un comentario bonito no sabía no, no sabía yo a quién compartírselo y ahora se lo comparto a él like before I met you like even when I reach 100,000 subscribers I had no one to share that enjoyment with mm -hmm. and I was very sad I was like man oh uh, has he met your mom and what do they think of each other yes she loves him she likes him uh, Tom Jones Jr when deployed, we should be able to fly and see you at a port uh, on leave. Uh, not really. Most of the time, if you get to a port, then there's like really not much time for that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You'd have to know beforehand. And, uh, it's, it's, really, it's not easy. All right, let's end this right now. Um, seriously, thank you all so much for watching. And I love you all, but not as much as I love it's a different type of mm -hmm. This is Jordan. Mr. Walker. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah.